Okay, so most people, when playing Minecraft, they pick the bow over the crossbow because it has infinity, and for some reason they think that arrows are a resource worth uh, conserving. Now, I have no idea why that is, because if you have, like, a skeleton spawner, or a, um... Raid farm, now you can see the bow uses the powers where the uh, crossbow uses the powers where the bow doesn't. And that's why most people pick the bow over the crossbow and it's like... But if you have a raid farm or anything, you're not going to be really low on arrows. And it's not like you use an entire stack of arrows when you go out. You just have to remember every once in a while to replenish your stock of arrows. Um, which is like a five second job. Um... But I, I've been playing like in my survival realm uh, recently, and uh, my well, it's pretty much just me in my realm, and uh, I've been using a crossbow. And the, the um, the, there's a little trick that I've figured out that uh, in my at least in my opinion, make crossbows a lot better than bows. So, um. If we go into this chest, we will see arrows of uh, ha harming and arrows of healing. Um, now, infinity does not work with potion arrows, as you can see here. So, when using a... Oh, I forgot to put buttons on these. Yay. Give. Oh. G. There you go. Just give myself some buttons. Boom, boom, boom. Ignore that. Anyway, um. So, if, oh, it's the half of the witch. If we go here. Bow easily one shots with instant damage. I believe it'll probably even like one shots without instant damage. Ah, yes. Uh, it ca I believe it can one shot with regular arrows, but it's reliant on crits. This is power five, so it's doing the most amount of damage, and punch only provides knockback. So, yeah. Not to, uh, doesn't KO, and even if it does, it's not guaranteed KO. Uh, but where with instant damage arrows, it is a is a guaranteed one hit KO. Uh, but to, unlike regular arrows, instant damage arrows are you know fine because inf infinity doesn't work with them. But when we go to the crossbow, it takes. A little bit more free hits uh, uh, because I managed to get the potion in. But you can collect the instant damage arrows back thanks to piercing. As you can see, I go on breaking, quick charge, piercing, and mending. So, yeah, because uh, the instant damage, uh, fa the first instant damage arrow does bring the witch uh, into cut into low enough health to for it to uh, chug a potion. Uh, it does take three arrows, but if we do a evoker here, two shot. And it is very quick. Like, um, it's going to be a bit hard to time this, but... Yeah, the crossbow is faster than the bow, like... If you have, so you can keep a charge, so that on the crossbow, so that's fine. So you get a shot, then another shot, and then another shot, and with the with the regular bow, it's a bit longer charging up. So it's just like um, you don't really have to wait for the charge. And then if you were if you're going up against undead enemies, you switch to healing. Oh, there you go, and healing or one uh, pretty much one shot. Uh, a zombie. Oh no. The just little. Uh, just barely normal one shot. I guess that's. Uh, 
damage I, I almost of uh, damaged it more than it healed it. Um, now if I could just get some redstone dust. Sixty-four. Cause I'm not going to bother counting up. Uh, but uh, after, if you, uh, the thing is with quick charge. Uh, so it's not sorry, not quick charge. Piercing uh, here is that um, it the arrows will only go through a limited amount of mobs uh, with uh, before you get your arrow back, and the max amount. And the uh, the amount max amount of mobs you can get you can kill while still getting your arrow back is four uh, five uh, uh, and you won't get your arrow back as I can demonstrate here. But being able to kill five mobs before losing you know losing your arrow, in my opinion, is pretty strong. Like. Not only are you doing, uh, not only does it recharge faster, and you're doing, uh, so essentially you're doing more damage than the bow. Um, also, if you miss, it's really nice to be able to recharge, uh, you know, if you're in a fight, especially with, like, gas. Like, the only time you're probably not going to be able to get your arrow back is uh, if you're fighting a gas and you shoot it off into, like, you shoot the arrows off into like oblivion and they like fall in lava or something. Like that's the only time you're not going to be able to get your healing and instant damage arrows back. And uh, for the amount of uh, damage that you get. Oh. Get uh, for. Um, you know. You know, for having the instant damage arrows and the uh, the crossbow is just insane, and the fact that you can just repeatedly reuse the instant damage arrows again and again definitely puts the crossbow uh, higher up, in my opinion, than the regular bow um, for its ability to just have an arrow already uh, put in there, its speed. Um, Making it do your and the fact that you can just collect your arrows back again definitely puts it above the bow. Um, now this uh, this is uh, in bedrock here that I'm talking about. This uh, in Java not as much. Like uh, in Java, you're probably not going to be using arrows of harming or healing uh, too much because um, they're a lot harder to get. Because in Java, all you have to do is uh, all, well, not all you have to, but what you have to do in Java is like. Have the uh, have the end dragon. So if you've killed the end dragon, you need to respawn the end dragon, which requires four end crystals, which is like a gas tier glass, uh, surrounded by glass, I think it is, or something like that. Um, and it's a little bit expensive, but not too much trouble. But then you have to like spawn in the end dragon, harvest its uh, dragon's breath with uh, um, bottles, kill the end dragon, return to the overworld. Craft the uh, po your, the potion that you want uh, into uh, lingering potions using the, the dragon's breath. Then, uh, cr then put eight of those lingering potions around it, uh, uh, ar arrows to make the potion arrow tip arrows. Uh, where in bedrock, you just need to make the potions, put them in, the f put three potions in the cauldron, right click with a stack of arrows, and you've got a stack of uh, damn instant damage or healing arrows so if you're on java this is in the as clear cover because like if you're in the late game and uh, uh you know you uh, like how uh, uh instant damage you know instant damage goes through armor and everything because as you saw there some of those zombies were wearing armor and they all died at the same time so you know they the tip towers still go through armor and you know you you like the uh, damage boost that you get uh, from it, then uh, I would definitely suggest crossbow. But uh, definitely in bedrock, just just get crossbows. They're just better because um, tipped arrows are a lot easier to get early game. Um, 
crossbows aren't difficult to get at all. Like, if you set up a raid farm, you're going to get tons of crossbows. Like, I literally made a perfect crossbow uh, with the exclusion of mending, which I got from a villager. Uh, from just like a couple of hours of um, AFKing at uh, a raid farm. And still had crossbows to spare. So, yeah, you, you definitely... Uh, it's easier to get a fully enchanted crossbow than it is to get a fully enchanted bow because you still have, had, have to fiddle around with villagers with bow, bows unless you want to go RNG and the enchanting table. Um, so it's just like, yeah, crossbow. In my opinion, it's just better. But what do you think? Is there something I've overlooked here that uh, you uh, think uh, makes... Cr uh, Infinity bows better than crossbows. Um, or do you agree with me? Do you think that the fact that uh, crossbows allow you to reuse instant damage and instant heat will tip arrows uh, infinitely? Uh, definitely puts them above uh, regular bows. And I'll see you guys in my next live stream slash video slash whatever I can be asked to do. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, bye bye.